As I recall, this guy won't listen to reason and can only be persuaded with intimidation. But he does seem to follow rules to some extent. Let's use that against him. Speaking of regulations, we have our own laws and regulations, too. According to Article 4 of the Cienjo Alliance IPC trade consensus, the Alliance and IPC shall never infringe on each other's intellectual property rights. I didn't expect to see you again, Mr. Scott. We had such fun in our room alley last time. It seems our paths are destined to cross once more. Stop pretending we're friends. If I could actually beat you, I'd punch you in the face. So, are you guys gonna resolve this problem? Or are you just gonna let this clown put on a show here? Let's just pretend we don't know her, Don Hung. <clears throat> Even if we set aside the secrecy of intellectual property, these prototypes built by the Intelligentsia Guild are incredibly valuable, beyond your wildest imagination. If anything goes wrong, you won't be able to pay for it even with your lie. I've got a brilliant idea. I'll just smash everything with my bat, and then you can hire someone to assess the damage. That way, your cargo won't need any inspection, right? Uh, calm down. The general wants us to handle this peacefully. So, this is the great idea you came up with? Fine. Why don't you just step over my lifeless body? Besides, cargo on this transport vessel belongs to the Intelligentsia Guild. If you want to inspect the cargo, shouldn't you... I'm pretty tight with Dr. Ratio from the Intelligentsia Guild. Almost like family. Doesn't that make me practically a member of the Intelligentsia Guild, too? What's all this nonsense? Even if you were married to him, you still couldn't represent the Intelligentsia Guild. That's enough. I'm not... I thought you were reasonable and civilized, but now... We've signed a confidentiality and security agreement with the Intelligentsia Guild. And if we breach it, we'll have to pay a hefty sum. Even if we sold the souls of every employee in the marketing development department on this planet, it still wouldn't be an... Listen up, kid. If that's the case, I can assure you the Cloud Knights won't let your ship leave. Oh, really? <laughs> Then you'll receive a ton of complaints from the Intelligentsia Guild and the IPC's Marketing Development Department. You're too young. I don't think you understand the chaos your rash decision will cause. Hmm. Since you put it that way, Mr. Scott, I'll take it as your agreement to the inspection procedure. Now... Ah, not so fast, you little brat. According to the IPC regulate... I thought you were reasonable and civilized. But now, it seems the IPC just wants to play by its own rules. My apologies, Mr. Scott. Stop him, guys! For the Amber Law! For the Amber Law! Stand still. Il think you said. Beneath the water lies an endless abyss. I weep for the departed. This is the fall. Get up, all of you! Why is the IPC even paying you? You're a bunch of losers! Just be grateful that that little brat showed you mercy. At least your staff aren't seriously injured. How do you IPC cronies have the audacity to fight Cloud Knights? You practically assaulted law enforcement officers. Another one? Who the heck are you? <sighs> I may be a bit late, but the good news is, I'm here now. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lingxia. Cauldron Master and Head of the Alchemy Commission on the Law Foo. Could she be? Yeah, 
She's the new cauldron master assigned here from the Sienjo Ming. I received a report from the Artisanship Commission about cargo containing samples of unknown organisms. It said they needed help from the Alchemy Commission. I had nothing better to do, so I came myself. <laughs> it's fine, Mr. Scott. If you really don't want your cargo to be inspected, it doesn't matter. being so nice all of a sudden, hmm? Well, since you're not going to check it, I'll take this crate and be on my way. Is that okay with everyone? Yeah, sure. Why should I object? Not only this sample, but all the goods on the transport ship are yours to keep. Like I said, we won't inspect them. Wait a minute! Well, that's more like it. If only the young displayed a more reasonable attitude, we could have sidestepped that altercation just now. Our ship will leave in a few days once the engines are repaired. Your ship can leave whenever you want, but I'm afraid I can't say the same for your cargo. According to the import and export regulations signed between the Sienjo and IPC, all biological shipments can only leave the port when they have confirmed to be of no threat. Or when all biological activity expires. Since we can't determine if your shipment is safe for the environment, I guess we'll have to wait for its biological activity to expire. Let me check the previous cases. Normally, it'll only take around 47 star calendar years. <laughs> Only 47 years? Why so surprised? You're still young and full of energy. I'm pretty sure you'll live a few more decades. Have some confidence in yourself. Ha! Typical of a long life species. Your words are dripping with sarcasm. While you may not care about time, I do. I'll be demanding double compensation from the Skyfaring Commission for every minute wasted. Sure thing, Mr. Scott. You seem pretty confident that your career and life will last long enough to witness this victory unfold. Side, guys, let them do the inspection. Uh, but, Mr. Scott, come on, we've already had enough trouble. Just let them do the security inspection, and if needed, I can always grovel before the intelligentsia guild later. I'm just using my head for what it's apparently good for, right? Honestly, at least you're not as annoying as that woman. Bro, just do the inspection. This lady is really something else. Is this the IPC product? Uh, uh, listen up. Any damages caused by inspections uh. will be filed with the IPC. <gasps>
checked at the dock for days? That's way too dangerous. I, I had no idea about it. You must have accidentally triggered the cargo's defense program. I don't think trying to shift the blame is a wise choice. But seriously, I don't know why that thing suddenly started moving. I swear on the Amber Lord. Enough. Miss Shikwe, please escort our IPC guest to the Skyfaring Commission. I'm on it. Please follow me, Mr. Scott. Gentlemen, our preliminary inspection shows that there is indeed hidden biological tissues inside. Just like the craftsman feared. I can't even tell if it's ingenium or biological in nature. The core of this device is what they call wetware in industry slang. To put it simply, this machine operates with a kind of biological nerve as its control center. I'll take some samples for the alchemist to analyze and figure out where the biological tissue comes from. Why would the Intelligentsia Guild use such unethical technology? Perhaps they're trying to create a new weapon? Whatever the reason is, it's probably why the Borison attacked the ship. No wonder the IPC were trying to obstruct our inspection. I'll contact the Ten Lords Commission and ask the judges to come and give their final verdict on this. According to our rules, all prisoners and weapons involving dangerous creatures must be taken to the shackling prison for further sentencing. After all, it's the safest place on the Wafu. As for you, Mr. Craftsman, please go with the Cloud Knights and explain the situation to the judge. 